In this tutorial, we are looking at the table section. So first, we need to select a league. To do this, on the left hand side, click England. Then Premier League. Then Season 18 to 19. This will bring up the tables for the current league. On the left hand side, we have the league table, showing each team and their position within the league. And the table on the right contains the results and the fixtures information. To right, we have the current season, the date, the round, the home team, the away team, the final score, the half-time score, ball possession, shots on goal, the home, draw, away, over, under, 2.5, the ELO rankings for the home side, the difference for the home side, the ELO rankings for the away side, and the difference for the away side. And now, if we scroll down, we can see the future fixtures. You can hide the league tree on the left hand side to make more room in the tables section. To do this, simply click Hide Leagues. Now let's look at a random team. We are going to select Tottenham. When you highlight an individual team, you can see on the right hand table the teams they've played and the results. and below their upcoming fixtures. At a glance, we can see that Tottenham have played 12 matches, losing three and winning nine with no draws. The teams they have lost to are highlighted in red and the teams they have beat are highlighted in green. On the left-hand side league table, we can see where those results occurred. The blue indicator shows their next fixture, which is Chelsea at home. On the far right of the table, we can see where Tottenham gained and lost significant ELO points, picking up 38 points from a win at Manchester United, losing 32 points at Watford and losing 27 points at Liverpool. We can now adjust the minimum ELO points by reducing the value below. We can now see where Tottenham have gained and lost ELO points above 5. Now let's take a look at the bottom toolbar where we can make many different filters. Let's take a look at home and away. Now this brings up the league for the home form only. With Tottenham in 14th position and Manchester City at the top. If we select Tottenham, we can now see who they have played at home and the result. Now, let's take a look at the away form. Away from home, Tottenham are at the top, losing just one game to Watford. Now let's take a look at the first half and the second half 
form filters. Tottenham are fourth in the first half rankings. As you can see with Tottenham, the result at half time was the same result at full time. Below we can select match ranges from 30 days, 60 days, 5 games and 10 games. The opponent team box allows you to filter matches between two teams of a certain range. Let's look at 1st to 7th. As you can see, Liverpool are top of the table. This means they took more points from teams ranked 1st to 7th in that current week. You can also select games played between certain months or days of the week. We will select September to October. During this period, Manchester City and Arsenal are at the top of the table. Now let's take a look at goals scored in the last five minutes. And here Leicester and Manchester City are at the top of the table. Let's take a look at the stats table. From here we can select different values to filter. Goals per game, penalties, own goals, score, ball possession, shots, shots on target, corners and fouls. The grey bar indicates the league average and teams above the grey bar are above average and teams below the grey bar are below the league average. If we select shots on target, Manchester City have the most shots on target, with Burnley having the most shots against them. Now let's filter for matches over 3.5. Arsenal and Burnley are at the top of the table with 50% and Newcastle are at the bottom and the league average is 3.6 or 30%. Let's take a look at the correct score filter and select 1-1 and Huddersfield and Wolves have had three 1-1 results in the past 12 games and six teams have had no 1-1 results so far this season. Now let's filter for matches where the teams have won by exactly one goal. Tottenham were top of the table overall with six games with exactly one goal ahead. We can also filter for home and away matches. And at home we see Brighton and Manchester United are both at the top with three games. This can also be applied to the first half and second half. In this final box we can look at the first half and full time final filters or a combination of the two. In this example, Liverpool have the best form. The Group v Group feature allows you to compare head-to-head -head results from your custom groups. We can start by adding the top six teams 
into group one. Then the bottom six teams into group two. Now we can see how the top six teams rank against each other from group one. With Manchester City at the top, followed by Liverpool and Manchester United at the bottom. We can also see how the bottom six compare to each other. We can now see how group one compared to group two. Between the two groups there have been 23 matches played. Group one have won 22 games drawing once with no losses. Group one have scored 73 goals and conceded 11. This section can also be filtered by home and away or first half and second half. The final section is the form chart section. Here we can see the best and worst trends from the teams in the league. The default trend is the ELO coefficient ratings. The top three trending sides are Manchester City, Manchester United and Everton. And the worst three trending sides are Fulham, Burnley and Wolves. We can change the ELO data from shots, shots on target, corners and ball possession then further filtered by home or away matches. This now concludes the tables section tutorial.